Let's sing hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody excited to be alive and well this morning. Why don't you just celebrate God this morning? Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's give him the praise that is due his name. Our God is awesome. Our God is faithful. Our God is righteous. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I am so possibly excited to be alive and well today. I don't know about you because we serve a living God. Hallelujah to Jesus. And this morning we are speaking his word into our lives, we're activating his word. Why don't you just go ahead and just bless him this morning? Just say, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege, the opportunity, the grace to come again into your presence, to, to, to worship you with the saints, to pray together with the believers this morning to speak your word. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, Jesus, for another day in the land of the living. And as his 12 verse 2 says, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great and you shall be a blessing. Why don't you go ahead this morning and say, Lord, thank you for the covenant to make me into a great nation. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this covenant, this covenant to make me into a great nation, into a great nation. When God sees a human being, he doesn't just see who the person is. God sees who the person can be. And that is why God addresses us based on our potential. Because if you look down 50 years, 100 years down the line, that same person would have become 2030. And then when you look like another another um, 500 years down the line, then the person really becomes a great nation because then you now have generations upon generations of people that would have come out of that person. So this morning, I want us to just go ahead and just say, Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you because in you I have an assurance. In you, your word is secured. Your word is secured over my life. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you for blessing me beyond the riches of curses and poverty. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you that I'm so blessed that I know I can never be poor another day in my life. I can never be broke another day in my life. Thank you, Father, for blessing me beyond the riches of curses, beyond the riches of of poverty. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. The Bible says it became a cause for us. It became a cause for us because the Bible says cursed is he who is hung on a tree. So he was hung on a tree for our sake. He was crucified to take away the sin and the consequences of it so now we can walk boldly we can walk securely we can walk clean because he has taken the pain he has paid the price let's go ahead this morning and just bless him and say lord thank you Thank you, Lord, for blessing me beyond the riches of curses and poverty. Thank you, Lord, for making my name a force to identify with. He said, I will bless you and make your name great. Somebody thank God for giving you a good name. The Bible says a good name is to be preferred than riches and silver. So let's thank God because the value of your name will be so great that it will attract it will attract silver and gold. Let's give God some praise this morning and say, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for building me into a beautiful edifice. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because I know my best years are ahead of me. It doesn't matter how old you are right now. Just know this for sure. Your best years are ahead of you. Your best years are ahead of you. No, thank you. For my best years are ahead of me. You have given me a name. You have given me a name. 
Thank you, Lord, for the overflow of your blessings through me to humanity. Somebody go ahead and speak that into your life this morning. Declare and thank God for the overflow of blessings through you to the rest of humanity. Give them some thanks this morning and just say, Lord, thank you, because I know, I'm sure, I am certain that your word is working in and through me overflow of blessings to humanity through me through me overflow of blessings the bible says eyes have not seen ears have not heard it has not come into the heart of any man the things that you have plan prepared package for them that love you let's go ahead this morning and just say lord thank you thank you lord because for this is my assurance that great things are spoken concerning me great things are spoken concerning my family in the name of jesus father we thank you we give you praise oh thank you jesus hallelujah somebody give the lord your best appreciation this morning hallelujah hallelujah glory to god thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah so in genesis 12 1 the bible says now the lord had said to abram get out of your country from your family and from your father's house to a land that i will show you to a land that i will show you i want us to pray for ourselves the lord this week i received the patience and quiet disposition to listen to your voice as we go god wants to speak but many times we are too busy so this morning as mature people who are maturing in christ i want us to pray that god will give us the patience and the quiet disposition to listen to his voice that even when we are in a noisy place, in a noisy environment, our hearts will be so attuned to hear the voice of God. The Bible says whether you turn to the left or you turn to the right, he said you will hear a voice from behind you saying this is the way. So turning and turning and turning doesn't mean that you can't still hear the voice from behind. Let's pray that Lord this week I receive the patience and the quiet disposition to listen to your voice. The Bible says the Lord said to Abraham, the Lord said to Abraham, the Lord could speak to Abraham in a land. Now you should remember that Abraham was actually in a place where they were worshipping idols. They were worshipping the God sin. That is what the, 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 the city Aram was known for. It was the capital city of the same God. And now God was speaking to Abraham in the midst of all the boisterous worship of that God. And God told him and said, I want you to leave this place. I want you to leave this place. Oh, thank you, Father. And it's also good to know that Aaron was a commercial city. So things were bubbling in that place. Yet God told Abraham to leave that place. So this week, God will be speaking again. Let's pray, Lord, I receive the patience and the quiet disposition to listen to your voice, to listen, to listen, to listen, to listen. Somebody declared this week, my mind is calm. My mind is calm and focused on God. In the name of Jesus, I declare my mind is calm and focused on God, focused on God, focused on God. In the name of Jesus, I declare my mind is calm and focused on God. My mind is calm and focused on God. In the name of Jesus, in the midst of all the, 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 the daily struggles and, and moving up and down, we want to get things for ourselves. Lord, we receive that calmness of mind this week. In the name of Jesus, Jesus told his disciples, he said, do not let your heart be troubled. I decree this week my heart will not be troubled. My heart is calm. My heart is calm. In the name of Jesus, my mind is calm. My mind is calm this week. I am calm enough to hear the voice of God. I am calm enough to listen to his voice. I am calm enough 
to know what he is speaking to me in the name of Jesus. Somebody declare that this week, Lord, show me what I see not. Show me, oh God, show me what I see not. Teach me what I know not. Encourage me to act promptly on your leading and your nudges. Lord, show me, Lord, show me, Lord. The Bible says the Lord said to Abraham, get out of your country. Get out, get out. The Lord said to him, the Lord is said to a land that I will show you. Let's pray this morning. Lord, I want to see. I want to see. Lord, show me. Lord, show me. Show me what I don't understand. Show me the way forward in my career. Show me the way forward, Lord. Lord, let it be that I will know for a certainty that this is God speaking to me. Lord, this week, oh God, I decree that my ears are open. I decree that my eyes are open. Oh, in the name of Jesus, Lord, somebody pray for courage to act promptly on the leading. As God is nudging you, act promptly. Let's pray, Lord, I receive grace to act. I receive grace not to overanalyze your instructions. I receive grace not to overanalyze your instructions. I receive grace not to overanalyze your instructions. Lord, I receive grace to keep moving and acting and moving and taking steps. As you instruct me, as you nudge me, Lord, I receive grace in the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive grace. I will not overanalyze your instructions to the point of incapacitation. I will not overanalyze your instructions to the point of incapacitation in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise this morning. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Now look at verse 4 of Genesis 12. The Bible says, So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken to him, and Lot went with him. And Abraham was 75 years old when he departed from Aram. At 75, you would have thought that someone has already reached the peak of their life. He has already achieved everything they needed to be achieved, maybe except that he didn't have a child yet. But the Bible says Abraham left what he had acquired and built for 75 years. The people that has become an identity for him for 75 years, Abraham left everything. I want us to pray, Lord, this week I kill every excuse for not acting on my course. I kill every excuse. Somebody will say, eh, eh, maybe because uh, I'm too old. Somebody will say, where do I start from? Start from where you are. Somebody will say, eh, ah, if I go and do this now, oh, people will not start mocking me. And say, see, whether you act or you don't act, people will still mock you. They will still say what they want to say. Why don't you just act and do what you need to do? Just act. Somebody pray this morning, Lord, I receive grace to kill every excuse. I kill every excuse for not acting. I kill every excuse, every excuse. This is in the middle of the month or the middle of the year already. And somebody is still planning and still thinking, ah, maybe if I have this, if you start, start, I receive grace. I receive grace. Lord, this week, this week, beginning from this morning, I am challenging someone, beginning from this morning, begin to take those steps. So declare this morning, Lord, I kill every excuse. I kill every excuse. Excuse of, oh, uh, uh, maybe if I talk to them, they will not answer me. Talk to them first. Go and talk to them. Go and talk to them. Lord, I receive courage. Courage. Courage to break every limiting mindset, every habit, anything. There are some of us, you would have started something, but then somewhere along the line, you just get discouraged and you will stop. You just have that cycle of always stopping, always 
happen. You start something just before the you start reaping the benefit of that action. Then you stop. Just before you you start getting a maximum um input, a, a, a maximum a, a recognition for that thing, then you stop. You move to something else. You are always starting all over. That habit of always starting all over. Lord, we break free, break free, break free. You are delivered now in the name of Jesus. You are delivered now in the name of Jesus. That habit of always starting all over, always starting all over. If you look at your life, there are many things you have started. There are many things you have started, but you never finish anything. You are not known for any of them because you don't have staying power. Somebody pray this morning, Lord, I receive staying power. I receive staying power. Abraham was 75. He did not say, hey, hey God, where do I start from? Hey, what about the people? Hey, what about Abraham moved as God told him to. Lord, I received grace this morning. Grace to move according to your word. Grace to move according to your word. Grace to move according to your word. In the name of Jesus. Grace to move according to your word. No more excuses. I kill every excuse. I kill every excuse. I kill every excuse in the name of Jesus. I kill every excuse in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. I break free from every limiting mindset, from every limiting habit. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, stay in power, stay in power, stay in power until I gain maximum recognition. I will not stop. Until I am known for that which you have told me to do, I will not stop. I will not quit. In the name of Jesus, I will not stop. I will not quit. I will not stop. I will not quit in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, when you move according to God's instructions, look at Genesis 12, 17. The Bible says, The Lord plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarai, Abraham's wife. Abraham got to Egypt and then for fear that they might kill him, he traded his wife, even in his foolishness, in his foolishness, because he was acting according to the instruction of the Lord. Even in his foolishness, God preserved his wife and preserved everything he owned, to the point that God had to send a plague on Pharaoh and, and his household just because of one person. I want us to pray that God, every one, and everything connected to me. This week, we are all preserved. We are preserved. My children are preserved. My spouse preserved. My career preserved. My job preserved. My business preserved. Everything connected to me is preserved from the plague of inflation, from the plague of devaluation, from the plague of unstable policies, volatile environment. Lord, my, my business is preserved. My career is preserved. In the name of Jesus, there was drought all over Egypt, but in Goshen, there was plenty. Lord, I decree, according to your word, Lord, you are preserving all that concerns me. In the name of Jesus, my children are delivered from the corrupt. Of this age, in the name of Jesus, Lord, my business, my career, my ministry, preserve, O oh God. We are preserved, Lord. We are preserved, Lord. We are preserved, Lord. In the name of Jesus, someone declare this morning, in the name of Jesus, declare over your house, oh, there shall be no loss, no loss, no loss, no loss. Even in the quality of your meal, there will be no loss. Because in the midst of all the squeezing, squeezing, squeezing the people to reduce their buying power. Our own buying power will not be reduced because the Lord will furnish a table for us even in the desert. Someone declared this morning, in my family there shall be no loss. In the quality of our meal there shall be no loss. There shall be no reduction. In the name of Jesus, because we always have more than enough. In the name of Jesus, 
Someone declared this week, we are divinely preserved. All that pertains to us. This is an opportunity for you to intercede. Pray for your friends. Pray for your family. Sometimes when some family members are afflicted, it can affect us drastically. If you have a parent that is that is sick or, or you, have, you have a friend that is sick that is so close to you, it can affect you. Pray that God, everyone that is connected to me, Lord, they are preserved. The Bible says, because of Joseph, God blessed the house of Potiphar. Because of Jacob, God blessed the house of Laban. Decree that, Lord, for my sake, for my sake, everyone that is connected to me, Lord, they are preserved. In the name of Jesus, declare that this week is a week of good news. No bad news from any quarters. Good news all around, everywhere. Good news everywhere. Good news. Good news everywhere. Good news everywhere. Good news everywhere. Declare it by faith this morning. Good news. Good news. Good news. In the name of Jesus. Good news all around. Good news everywhere. Good news, good news, good news, good news, good news. In the name of Jesus, it's a week of good news. It's a week of good news. I will receive good news. I will share good news. I will receive good news. I will share good news. Someone declare over yourself this morning. Hey, Maraca Doske, in the name of Jesus. I will share good news. I will receive good news. I will share good news. I will receive good news. It is a week of good news. It is a week of glad tidings. In the name of Jesus, someone declared this morning, because I am preserved, supernaturally preserved, supernaturally preserved. In the name of Jesus, supernaturally preserved, supernaturally preserved. In the name of Jesus. Oh, someone pray, 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 pray. Le baruze kaya kabala kabasa kakaka. Marus ketele mekete. Je kala kabayanda. If you are with your spouse, you can hold hands and decree this morning. We are preserved in this house. We are preserved in this house. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. If your children are around you, you can lay your hands on them and declare you will you are preserved. Preserve this week in the name of Jesus. You will not be wrongly influenced in the name of Jesus. You will not be wrongly influenced in the name of Jesus. You are preserved. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're bringing it to a close this morning. Genesis 13, verse 2. Look at the eventual result of Abraham when we do what God asks us to do. When when God preserves us, the Bible says Abraham was very rich in life, in silver and in gold. These were the means of exchange in their days, silver and gold. Means of exchange. But the Bible says Abraham was very rich, very rich. Livestock talks about his work. He was, he was, um, he was a shepherd cultivating um, um, different cattle and you no, know? and then he had the means of exchange. He was rich in silver. He was rich in gold. Someone this morning, I want you to declare, "I am rich." Say it with every, with all your heart. I am rich. 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 I am rich in all estimations. If you estimate in Naira, I am rich. If you estimate in dollar, I am rich. If you estimate in pounds, I am rich in all estimations of the means of exchange. I decree and declare I am rich. <laughs> Hallelujah. I decree and declare I am rich. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, I am rich. 
As I go this week, I attract richness. Oh, thank you, Father. I attract wealth in the name of Jesus. In all my different investments, everything I touch, I blossom. In the name of Jesus, Abraham was rich in livestock. His business was booming. His business was booming. Even when he was in a strange land, even when there was famine, the Bible says Abraham was rich in livestock. His livestock continued to grow. Lord, I decree my business will grow. My ministry flourishes in the midst of the storms, in the midst of all the ulabaloos around us this season. Lord, I decree and declare my ministry will blossom. My ministry is flourishing in the name of Jesus. I am flourishing. I am flourishing. Flourishing. I am flourishing in the name of Jesus. Everywhere I go, I am flourishing in the name of Jesus. I am flourishing. Oh, thank you, Father. Flourishing, flourishing, blossoming in the name of Jesus. Flourishing, blossoming, flourishing, blossoming, flourishing, blossoming. Someone declare it by faith this morning. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Marakataya, I am rich. In, in, in whatever it is you do, begin to declare. Begin to declare. I am rich in profit. As you are trading, I am rich. As, as, as you, you engage your client, you have maximum output. In the name of Jesus, rich by all estimation. I am rich by all estimation. Rich in my spirit, rich in my health, rich in my finance, rich in relationships, in social capital. I am rich because I am seen by the right people. I am seen by the right people. I am seen by the right people. Someone declared this morning, people that must know me will know me. People that must hear my voice will hear my voice. People that must see me will see me. In the name of Jesus. Jesus said you will be brought before kings and governors for my sake. The Bible said, do you see a man that excels in his business? He will stand before kings and not ordinary men. I am no longer standing before ordinary men. I am standing before kings. I'm standing before kings. Before kings. Before kings. Before kings. Before, kings. before people that matter. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody go ahead and give us some thanks this morning. Just give him some thanks because, oh, it's a new season for us. It's a new season. It's a new season. Go ahead and bless him this morning. Just say, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this new season. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because your blessings are activated over my family, over my life, over my ministry. Thank you, Lord, for the activation of your blessings. Oh, Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody excited this morning. Just give him some praise. Give him some praise. Give him some praise. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If your place is not too noisy, you may want to unmute now. Let's take our closing prayer together. Something massive is coming my way today. I believe it. And I receive it. And it has become my reality. Something Something great is coming my way today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Amen. Good morning, family. Good morning. It's a blessed morning. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning Pastor. Thank you so much, Sister Ladin. Good morning. Good morning. Mrs. Ladin, okay. Good morning, Comfort. Good morning, Mane. Good morning, Mrs. Faith. Same Samuel. Good morning. Good morning, Shikan. Good morning. Good morning. Say blessed morning. Hallelujah to Jesus. 
All right. Amen. Let's go ahead and flourish. And I, I will be expecting our testimony seriously, seriously, because I know it's Amen. going to be massive. There will be massive, massive testimonies for us in Jesus' Amen. name. Okay. Amen. So let's Gonna take our closing song. Um, it's my winning season. Hallelujah to Jesus. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. God, I will give you praise. You will win. Because that's what the scripture says. It said you will win. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. 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 Thank you.